Join me on my around the world trip with points and miles. My name is Chris, the credit genius, and we will fly the world's best business and first classes on this channel. We got them all, including products like Singapore Suites, Etihad Apartment, Emirates Game Changer, Qatar Q Suites, and ANA The Room around the globe. These flights took me to more than 10 different countries and had a hefty total price tag of over $32,000. Flying across the globe in comfortable beds while enjoying fine dining, an onboard bar, and even a shower in the skies is a childhood dream that came true. I saved more than $30,000 on these bougie flights around the globe and just pay $1200 in tax and fees using credit card points and miles. For many years I've been passionate and strategic about my credit card setup. I became a full-time traveler and created my own banking and credit card consulting company called The Credit Genius. We already covered the start of my round the world trip with Qatar Q Suites double bed from Germany to Bali. I spent two months living in Bali and Thailand and then made my way to Singapore. I got fortunate to get a mile ticket for the legendary Singapore Suites in the A380 on the sweet spot route from Singapore to Hong Kong. Let's fly. Good morning flyers from Singapore Changi Airport. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're flying from Singapore to Hong Kong with Singapore Airlines A380 Suites. So it's gonna be an amazing experience. I'm very very excited. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Uh, we're checking out the private room from Singapore and uh, then definitely the A380. I'm uh, here at the Jewel. The Jewel with the HSBC Rain Vortex. It's the largest indoor waterfall in the world and there are trains who are passing by here. It's just like an incredible airport. And uh, yeah, come along with me. We're gonna have some fun. Um, it's uh, seven in the morning, so it's gonna be an early flight. We will we're, we're have like an, uh, an four hour flight from Singapore to Hong Kong, uh, but we're gonna make the best out of it and uh, make this a truly unique experience in the Airbus A380, the one and only whale. Okay guys, we went out of Terminal 3 again because I'm going to the first class check-in reception. Uh, much more priority and probably also much faster. So let's check it out. Check-in area also looks very luxurious. Look at this. So much space. Directly you get your luggage dropped off here. So. And here is the first class security, um, just completely separated. And uh, yeah, let's just go through. Then we're checking out the private room. Welcome to the private room of Singapore Airlines here at Changi. It's just like unbelievable um, how luxurious it looks and uh, how good the service is. Um, it's a true, unique, first class lounge experience. And they really did, did something really incredible here. And uh, yeah, the service is super nice. And <laughs> there's the first champagne coming. It's 9, nine in the morning, or not even, not even 9, 8.40. We got like a charger adapter. And this is the headphones. Yeah. Yes. And this is the seat controller, like panel, so you can adjust the seat. Like just turn here, Perfect. turn there. Yes, laser. And this one is a uh, table for dining. It's a big one. Okay, gotcha. So yeah, yes. And the menu. All right, guys. We just bought the Airbus A380. I'm here in my suite uh, 3A. There are six suites in total on this aircraft, and uh, there are actually two suites or four of them. The the one in the front can turn them into the double double bed. Since I'm traveling alone, uh, that was an option for me, uh, but this suite is still incredible. I mean, look at all the space and gonna show you guys around 
how it looks. <laughs> this is the sweet. Those are the other sweets. And this sweet 3F. Look at all the space. Look at that. It's beautiful. And uh, this one right here can also be turned into a bed. Gonna try that uh, out later. How it looks and how it feels <laughs> to have a bed and a seat um, on an aircraft. It's just like incredible. All right, guys, time for the second champagne. We got another one, uh, it's a Krug. So I think it's about $200 per bottle. And so very nice champagne. And yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Even though it's very early in the morning and I didn't sleep that much, but uh, I'm very, very uh, excited on this, for this flight. And uh, cheers. All right, guys, so this is the menu for today. Unfortunately, it's just breakfast and actually I missed to book the cook like shame on me. I'm sorry for you guys um, But like I was uh, in the check-in portal 23 hours before departure and the book the cook option already closed So we have to stick to the regular menu, but this is the standard one So maybe it's even better for this review right here. I would have picked uh, the lobster the signature lobster lobster from Singapore And uh, yeah, I selected um, as a starter a muesli uh, with yogurt. And uh, then you have two nice options. One signature one is like a chicken dish. Nasi Padang by Ruma Makan Minang. I selected this. Okay, seatbelt signs off. Time to check out the bathroom. Okay, so that's the bathroom. Very, very spacious. Of course, got the GoPro going on here. Look at this space. You even have like a thing to do your makeup. And yeah, it's a toilet. Well, as nice as these bathrooms here are in the A380 of Singapore, they don't have a shower like Emirates. Uh, so that's a major big disadvantage on a very high level, obviously. So these are the stairs of the Airbus A380. Um, below here, you just have economy class. And upstairs is, are the first class suites, six of them in the front, um, including the bathrooms. And then you have the business class um, in the middle and in the back. the Singapore signature cocktail. It's a Singapore sling uh, with uh, dry gin and it's all popular around uh, Singapore. It's with a Dom, a Benedictine orange liqueur, cherry brandy, pineapple juice and uh, Angostura bitters and brandy. It's a must have when you're traveling to Singapore because this chicken is very, very good, very soft in a very nice marinade and uh, yeah I like it the fish is very spicy so <laughs> I don't like that one so much but here's really uh, a big recommendation I was a little bit late but always book the cook when you're flying with Singapore you can even have it uh, in the business class so always go ahead check in your booking and uh, then make a, a selection from book the cook and then you can select the specific meal that you like and in first class suites they even have uh, lobster which i tried to get i also asked uh, at the check-in but uh, it was too late so always uh, book the cook all right the crew was so nice they prepared the bed for me um, i mean i'm not going to sleep but uh, they they said like you have to get into the bed and uh, so yeah why not this is the bed right next to the chair i mean just amazing not even in uh, Emirates first class, not even the game changer one. 
you have a, a bed next to the seat. The only product in uh, commercial aviation that has something similar like this is Etihad uh, Apartments, also on the A380s, and they're coming back with it, so they reactivated the A380s, and I'm probably gonna fly them soon as well. Uh, they're operating from London to Abu Dhabi, and I'm uh, very excited how they compare to this um, to this product from Singapore Airlines. I mean, the bed is just super, super comfy. Um, I can on, only imagine flying like on a 12-hour flight uh, with this probably will be just incredible. Yeah, so that's the seat, it's fully controllable. You can adjust it with uh, controls right here. And you have a, have a touch to also control the screen. And then you have all kind of storage options here and a mirror, it's really, really nice. And then you have this control right there. It's completely wireless and with this you can also control this huge monitor right there and uh, yeah that's about it we have just like a couple minutes left to Hong Kong about 38 minutes and uh, yeah then we're gonna land in Hong Kong such a short flight I would have enjoyed it even more when it's a longer flight but it was a sweet spot I'm gonna tell you guys later how much I paid for it and how much it would have been in, in, in cash. So yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, the flight with me so far and uh, stay tuned for more content. I'll try to get more first class products as well. So Game Changer First Class, now this one and we'll for sure get some other ones as well. Welcome to Hong Kong. Here's the cost breakdown and my resume. This flight was selling for around $3,000 in cash and I was able to book the Saver Award Fair for just 45,000 Chris Flyer miles and $46 in taxes with points I transferred from American Express. That's a great redemption of almost 7 cents per point. Saver Award Fairs are rarer and I recommend getting waitlisted on multiple flights like I did. Even though the flight was too short to really use and appreciate this incredible and gigantic suite, it was still a life memorable experience starting off with the private room lounge. I especially want to highlight the lovely Singapore crew who went above and beyond for me and even prepared the bed on this short flight. As incredible as this suite is with its separate bed, caviar service and crook champagne, Singapore falls behind because it's missing a shower and bar like Emirates and Etihad. Guess we have to try out these very soon. Stay tuned.